Holy crap. I hit that and it flew over the fence. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I recently just got back from the mainland, and while I was there, I picked up some lace wood and some zebra wood. And it was a really nice guy. His name was Taylor from Edensaw in Port Townsend, Washington. Super nice guy. He gave me some wood. Or, I bought it, but he gave me out of his collection. And this stuff is a little thinner than I would like. So what I was thinking is make the actual slingshot out of the lace wood and then do a zebra wood palm swell. So laminate it, basically. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to make this template. I love this template. Uh, I shoot best with this template. We'll see. So I'm going to go make this board a little thinner on the bandsaw. Okay, just got done with this piece. I didn't exactly do it perfectly. There's a little ridge right there, but I think that's going to be fine. So what I'm going to do next is uh, trace this template on. Okay, so I just got done cutting this out, and not to toot my own horn, but I think I did a pretty good job. laminated wood slingshot first one I've ever done yeah I'm gonna glue this on now this go like this okay I think that's good that's glued on to that and then it's pressed down with that this is camera dude Okay, so it's the next morning. Got the thing clamped up right here, and I'm gonna unclamp it. That's on there pretty good. Cool. So. If you've seen any of my other videos, you don't know how the laminating process goes, but you know how the rest of making the slingshot goes. So I'm going to stop talking and start the montage.
we're about to oil the slingshot. We got some boiled linseed oil. I got this off of Amazon for around $14. Here's a slingshot before. After 2,500 grit. Looking pretty nice. Super shiny. So, yeah, let's put some oil on. Boom. Look at that. That is probably one of my better slingshots. Nice shine to it. Ooh, yeah. That's going to be a good one. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of the oil on it. Okay, you can stop it. Yeah, we're going to let this thing dry, and in the morning we're going to start shooting it. That's how it came out. So we're going to go let it dry now. Yeah, it'll be... Well... Yeah, it'll be okay guys, it's the next morning. This is how the slingshot came out. Shiny. Here's the back side. Side profile. Fits great in the hand. And um, I might make this my hunting slingshot. And if you guys want to see a hunting video, comment down below. Because I'll definitely do one of those if you guys want. And I think... At either 500 or 1,000 subscribers, if I get 500 or 1,000 subscribers, I'll start selling these. So I, I'll make a video on them, and I'll make a website, and I'll put these up on my website. So, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe so you can buy some of these slingshots. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go take it down to the front yard. We're going to go shoot it a few times. There's the target box. We've got a pig hanging right there, like a little like plastic pig thing. Got th three spinners right here. And I'm going to see how we're probably about 10, 15 yards from the target box. So I'm going to stand right here. Take our first shots. I'll go for the pig. I'll go for the pig first. I nipped it. There we go. That was a solid hit. Big. Okay, we'll go for the small spinner. It's the one in the middle. Oh, that was close. Got it. There we go. Okay, I'm standing in the same spot. Just camera zoomed in now. No! Oh, my spinner target fell, but still hit the pig a few times. Okay, just set a bottle cap in the catch box. It is sticking on that rod right there. Ah! I think I nipped it, but let me set it up again. No. Fine, I'll just hit the metal rod. Eat that. There we go. That was a fun target. Okay, let's do a few more zoomed out shots. We'll go for the metal rod. You guys definitely can't see the metal rod, but... You'll be able to hear it. Holy crap. I hit that and it flew over the fence. <laughs> okay, we're going to see how long it takes us to cut the can. There's four of us. Dude, look at, look at that. 
That's all me, man. Oh, way to go, Hudson. We have to stop the camera. You gotta hit it on the right. Are you kidding me? That looks like such a cool picture. <laughs> Yo, look at it! Oh! Yes! Did I hit it? Did I hit oh, it? Oh, you slid it! I got it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh! I slid it. Okay, we got the can in, I don't know, a few minutes. Okay, guys, last shot of the day. I'm gonna hit that swinging ball cap at the top of the catch ball. There we go. First shot. Let me zoom you out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Here's how the slingshot came out. Pretty nice, accurate, and I liked I liked the two woods, the lamination thing. So yeah, and I'm serious about the hunting thing. If you want to see me go hunt with this thing, comment down below, go hunt, and I'll go hunting with the slingshot. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I made the slingshot and see you in the and stay tuned for the next video when I put a fiber optic on this on the tip of this slingshot and see how it shoots. So yeah. See you in the next video. See ya.